What's up everybody and welcome back. You may remember a couple of months ago I uploaded a video called How to Breed Annual Killifish where I showed you guys how to collect and incubate the killifish eggs. In today's video, we're gonna hatch those eggs. I also traded some of the Nothobranchius eggs with a fellow killifish keeper in my area and got some Aphysimian, Aphysimian, got some Asaphimian, Aphysimian Australia eggs instead. And we're gonna hatch those today too. Okay, the first thing you need to do is look for the eyes on the embryo. Find the eggs in the peat moss and look at them through a magnifier. These shots were taken on a macro lens. The next step is preparing the water. I use water from a cycled aquarium and add aquarium salt to it. This is because nothobranchias are prone to velvet disease and the salt helps prevent it. I use about half a tablespoon for every one gallon of water. I then oxygenate the water for about 15 minutes. I do this by putting an air stone in it. I'm not sure if this is a necessary step, but it was suggested by the same Reddit user and I figured I might as well do it. Once this is done, pour the water into the containers you want to hatch the fry in and then add the peat moss. I then stir the peat moss so all of it sinks. Here I'm doing it for the Australia eggs and then repeating the same process for the Nothobranchius eggs. And now we wait. It only took two hours till I started seeing movement in the Nothobranchius container. And by the next morning, we already had over 40 babies. I'm going to use this three shelf storage box to grow the fry out in. They're usually okay in something like this for the first week or two. I waited a few hours and then used the turkey baster to move them into their grow out container. I also add some floating plants and java moss to the grow out containers because these plants will have microorganisms growing on them that the fry can feed on. The Australia eggs hatched a lot slower and I didn't see any fry until day 3. But once they fully hatched, I also moved them into their own grow out container. The next step is to dry and store the peat moss again. This is because some killifish eggs go into diapause and so won't hatch the first time you try. Put the same batch of peat moss into water after 2 or 3 weeks and you should get babies hatching again. For the first few weeks the fry are really tiny and will only accept live foods such as infusoria, microworms and freshly hatched brine shrimp. In this shot, you can see the fry hunting microworms. And in this shot, they're eating baby brine shrimp. I prefer baby brine shrimp to other live foods because the fry's stomachs become pink and this way you make sure they're eating. By the way, I wanted to mention that this method of hatching the eggs works for all Nothobranchia species and almost all other killifish species. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you on the next one.